Hey everyone, it's Zueb Khan again and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll continue with our contacts app with Angular Signals and we'll add the remaining functionality to add a new contact and delete a contact using Angular Signals. So right now what we need is to add our uh, add component or add contact component. And to do that, first we're going to add a button at this point here on the toolbar. So let's go back to our app component and let's add a button here we're going to do mat button module include this here and in the toolbar we are going to add the button here and also we want to make it an icon button so we are going to include the mat icon module here as well let's call it a mat icon button and inside of it we are going to include the mat icon which is add underscore circle is more is better for our purposes okay and it's not um, aligned properly so what we are going to do is we are add a we are going to add a bit of a style here and for the mat toolbar we will add justify content space between and we can see that it goes on the far right position that okay uh, and from here on we are going to route it to our uh, add uh, route which is our add contacts button so yes this works okay so now let's build up our add contact uh, UI let's go to our add contact here we are going to need our uh, form so let's add form field module then let's add we are going to need the input module and obviously we are also going to need the button module because we need to have the buttons at the bottom but these are the things that we need here and initially we want to keep things in a container because we want to give it some padding so we are going to add a container here and in the styles for the container we are going to add some padding which would be about 24 pixels and inside of it we are going to add a bit of heading and we're going to say okay we want to add a new contact let's see how this looks okay add new contact great and in this container we are the first thing that we want to do is to add our mat form field okay, this form field is going to have an input inside of it which is going to be a mat input and let's give it a placeholder of a name okay let's see how this looks great looks fine then let's add another input and this one this one would be email address and this one would be phone okay oh sorry we're using the same mat form field we need to create different ones let's create another one great so we have three fields here um okay so if you want to uh, lay it out a bit more professionally we can add a bit of uh, layout to it so we can add another div here and we can say that this div has our form let's shift these to inside our form and the form is going to be display flex let's give it a gap of eight pixels i guess or let's make it a uh, direction as a score great so this is fine we have name email address phone and then below that we can have our buttons and for our buttons we can have another div we can call it actions and let's add a button here this button can be called save it would be a mat raised button and we want to make the color as primary because this is our primary button here and then we have another button which would be the back button now this won't be the primary button but this is going to be just a normal button and then we're going to add a bit of style for this so actions would also be display flex gap Eight pick great that's perfect okay and you can change it as much as you want now let's add the router link here and let's just put it back to the main link here and because we are using router link i think we also need to have router module here all right let's test this out and when we go back okay we can go here and then we can go back go here okay great okay so we have built the add um, component module but we also need to uh, bind these fields to our and get these values here so we are just going to use the ng module way of the template driven forms which is simpler in this case so we're just going to include the forms module here and for the forms module we are going to just three variables here we're going to call it name email and phone okay three strings and here we are just going to bind them to our using the ng mod we're going to use two way binding for it okay so, so here we have name here we are going to give it email we're going to give it phone great and what are, what are we going to do in save so we're going to make a new function called save here we are going to make a new thing called payload and this is going to be name this dot name phone be this dot phone and email start email great okay so now what do we do with this now so we need to have um an add contact function in our service which is going to add the contact to our signal okay so how do we do that now so let's go back to our contact service here and let's add a new function this function is going to uh, be called add contact and here is going to take in a new contact with e of type contact right so now let's see how to actually change a signal here so 
a very simple way to change a signal is to just set the signal with the new value so we can do this dot contacts dot set now the set is a basic function set a new value on the signal okay so we can use set and within it we can say that okay we have this dot contacts here and what do we want to do with this contact so we are going to just add these contacts to a new array and on top of it we are going to add our new contact great so we can you uh, very much use this but there's also a better option here when you want to update uh, a signal angular team provides a contacts dot update method as well so you can do this as well is what update and we have the new contact we have our old contacts old state and we can just do the same thing but we can use it in this way if you're familiar with ngrx and how you use the updaters there this is similar to that okay so you can use this way as well now i'm going to use this way i'm just going to remove the set one okay so it's a convenience method so just to mimic the uh, way an, an api really works we can add a bit of um, delay to it as well so to add a bit of delay we can do set timeout we can just add a one second delay perhaps and we're going to just add the uh, or the update the signals contact and then immediately let's inject a uh, router here okay and we can just do dot navigate and let's go back to our sorry just the router router dot navigate here all right and it will go back to our main contacts list okay let's just try this out then or in fact i think we have missing one thing and that is to add our safe functionality here so we are just going to do just going to do our contact service here include it here using the inject function contact service and here we are going to use this dot contact service dot add contact and here we are going to give our payload okay one last thing that we uh, need to do is to just add a binding here as well so we add a click binding here and we just call the save handler here great so now when we try out our new function here and we can just go back go to our add contact we can do zweb ahmed and i can add my email address which is hypothetical of course and i can add my phone now just dress this out and great so what happens here is that when the signal is updated and it goes back to the contacts list it gets the new value of the signals and everything updates on the ui itself so great you know we are now using the signals app to update things okay so now let's add the delete uh, function to our individual contacts first of all we need to go back to our contacts list here and we can add a button here so we are going to first include the matte button module here and the icon as well now to use that uh, we are going to use the meta directive here so let's see we have the mat list item meta directive which we use to position things at the end of the list here so we're going to call it mat icon button here and the icon that we need here is the delete icon let's see how this looks okay that looks nice and then we are going to add a, a click event handler for delete here and we're going to give the contact in it all right so we need to add a delete function here as well on the pattern of the add contact so let's add delete contact here and here we're going to take the uh, contact to delete okay and again we're going to give a set timeout here just to mimic how it would happen we don't need to route to any new place so here what we are going to do is we are just going to update the contacts again but we are going to do contacts we're going to use the filter function of arrays and we're just going to remove it use you remove the specific contact that we want removed from that okay so we are going to do c dot email is not equals to contact dot email this is going to return the whole list except for that specific contact so our signal is going to update to uh, the contacts list without that contact. Okay, great. So now we can just send this delete here. And since we want to use the contact service here in multiple places, we are just going to inject this in one place. And we can do here contact service. And here we can do this dot contact service dot delete contact. And here we can do contact and the same we can pass in here all right great this should work if you can now test the delete process let's try deleting this and you can see it reduce it removes the it from the list and it automatically updates on the ui because we have bound the contacts to the contacts list here the signal to the list great okay so now we have seen how uh, a signal works how we can update the signal how we can get the value of the signal that's it for this video in the next video we are going to see how to use the computed and the effect primitive in our app if you like this video please consider subscribing to my channel thanks for watching